Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday, the 22nd of November. Rescuers inch closer to trap tunnel workers in India's Uttarkashi. India resumes e-visa services to Canadian nationals after two months pause. And deportation drives spark sense of panic among Afghan refugees in Pakistan. And now for all the details, after the video footage of 41 trapped workers in India's Uttakashi was released on Tuesday, rescue workers have now expressed optimism for another breakthrough as the operations are underway with full progress. Authorities have said that they are inching close to the trapped men with horizontal drilling efforts underway. Meanwhile, four ambulances have been stationed at the operation site in case of any undesired occurrence. अगर पत्थर आ जाए या कोई मशीन आ जाए जिससे थोड़ी बहुत अड़चन पैदा हो वो वो दिक्कतें ना आए तो हम जल्द से जल्द मे बी तीस घंटे में चालीस घंटे में आपसे और खुशखबरी हम आपके साथ कुछ बताने की स्थिति में होंगे अड़चनें आ सकती है उसके लिए भी थोड़ी बहुत तैयारी हम कर रहे हैं Em is the rescue efforts famous artist Sudarshan Patnaik created a sand art in Puri praying for the trapped workers with a message of hope Authorities have not said what caused 4.5 km tunnel to cave in but the region is prone to landslides earthquakes and floods Moving on India has resumed e visa services for Canadian nationals for tourism and businesses after pause of 2 months government sources informed on Wednesday New Delhi had suspended visa services following a diplomatic turmoil after Prime Minister Justin Trudeau linked India with the killing of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar in Canada. However, visa services for certain categories was resumed by New Delhi in October. The latest development comes amid participation of Trudeau in the virtual G20 summit chaired by India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Following the deterioration of ties between New Delhi and Ottawa, this was the first time both leaders engaged on any platform. Pakistan police on Tuesday began door-to-door -door searches in Afghan refugee settlements in southern port city of Karachi, which hosts thousands of Afghan refugees, in an effort to round up and expel undocumented foreigners. Police, along with officials of the National Database Authority, were seen asking residents in one of the slum settlements to provide proof of identification, which was cross-checked by electronic tablets. The door-to-door -door drive comes after media reports suggested that thousands of Afghans have gone underground in Pakistan, fearing deportation. They have said they fear for their lives if they return to Afghanistan, which is now run by the Islamist Taliban movement. The UN Refugee Agency UNHCR has also expressed concern over reports that even those with the right documents were being targeted. Islamabad, which had announced it would expel over a million undocumented refugees amid a row with Kabul, over charges it harbors anti-Pakistan militants have however claimed harassment of documented refugees is rare and it is taking action only against perpetrators. Moving on, residents of Gilgit Baltistan are angry over Pakistan government's apathy to provide them with even basic amenities while they continue to suffer. A report. Locals in Gilgit Baltistan are upset over the years of resource exploitation by Islamabad while they are forced to live in harsh conditions in the absence of basic amenities. There have been several protests against the Pakistan government over unfair taxes being imposed on them, but all in vain. The residents are forced to suffer prolonged load shedding and wheat crisis while their prices are skyrocketing. साल से आज तक इतना पानी के मनब होने के बावजूद न स्टेट ने हमें बिजली दिया है पचहत्तर साल से न हमें सही एजुकेशन दिया है पचहत्तर साल से हमें कुछ भी नहीं दिया अब आए हैं जनाब अली गंदम के हवाले से जो बात हो रही है इसमें एक और बात में इजाफा करूँ बखुदा ये गंदम नहीं है ये इतना नाकिस मटेरियल है इंतहाई मुजर सियात है लोग हॉस्पिटल जा रहे हैं लोग परेशान हो रहे रोटी बनाएंगे तो बिल्कुल काली सियाह होती है तो कोई आए ना चीफ सेक्रेटरी आके खाए कोई मिनिस्टर आके वही रोटी आटे के खाए तो पता चलेगा 
Locals accuse Islamabad is pushing more and more people into abject poverty through its failed economic policies with no hope left for their future. Bangladesh Deputy Foreign Minister Sheryar Alam on Tuesday termed the opposition demand for a caretaker government ahead of election is a method to threaten upcoming general elections, adding that those raising this demand have in past shown bias towards undemocratic change in power. Present government is fully aware of its democratic obligations and is sincerely working to hold a free and fair national election, Alam was quoted as saying by news agency UNB. The comments come amid countrywide blockades by opposition BNP and other like-minded parties which are demanding PM Sheikh Hasina to relinquish power ahead of the election, scheduled for January 2024. BNP, whose leaders are either in exile or jailed, have also announced boycotting the elections if Hasina doesn't allow a caretaker government to oversee the election. In a preliminary hearing over a dozen writ petitions challenging the ban on Chinese social media app TikTok, Nepal's Supreme Court has issued a show cause notice to the government to furbish explanation within 15 days. However, the top court during the hearing refused to lift the ban from the video sharing platform. Petitioners challenging the government decision to suspend the usage of TikTok had claimed the ban undermines the freedom of expression of the public. The government, while defending the ban, has claimed that the app has been violating the harmony in the society and has cited security concerns. As the World Heritage Week is being observed across the globe, authorities in parts of India have organized several events to promote the conservation of culture and heritage. Take a look. In view of the World Heritage Week, authorities in India's Jammu and Kashmir have organized a special exhibition in Srinagar displaying manuscripts, paintings and artifacts which is attracting a huge number of people including students. World Heritage Week is observed every year from November 19th to 25th to raise awareness about the importance of protecting and preserving cultural heritage. The visitors at the SPS Museum expressed joy after witnessing the rich past of Kashmir. आज हमने यहाँ पे हेरिटेज वीक मनाया और हमें बहुत ज़्यादा अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस मिला यहाँ पे हमने बहुत सी ऐसी चीज़ें देखी जो हमने अभी तक सिर्फ पढ़ी है और हमने आगे अपनी आँखों के सामने नहीं देखा है और इससे और एक और चीज़ भी कि हमारा जो कश्मीर है हमारा वतन है उसके बारे में जो उसका पास्ट है उसको जानने की हमने कोशिश की यहाँ पर और हमें बहुत ज़्यादा अच्छा एक्सपीरियंस हुआ Earlier over the past weekend, the famous Taj Mahal and the Agra Fort also witnessed huge crowds of tourists as the authorities announced free entry to the monuments to mark the beginning of the Heritage Week. ये जो वीक चल रहा है वहाँ पे भी ताज महल में एंट्री फी थी और अभी या Agra Fort में आए बिल्कुल सही लगा कि ऐसे मॉन्यूमेंट्स हमें फ्री में देखने मिल रहे जी जो डिसीजन हुआ है कि फ्री करेंगे ये बहुत बढ़िया था That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.